I mean, I would t I could take these guys a little bit more seriously if it wasn't for this curly ass shit. They stink the whole place. Why everyone stinks? Holy f! Unholy schmoly! Okay, people, back again with another one. Bonka cat news coming to you live with some culture war situations, right? So the last time we did like a video about Ethan Klein, it was maybe about three weeks ago. I try, I try, I try to limit it Ethan Klein content to once a month, but I don't know. I guess we, we have to do another one. Another one. So the last time we did a video, Ethan Klein is just going wild on his Insta story. You know, he's just uncomfortable about the fact that the country that he loves so much is a genocidal maniac, right? Israel, do you love Israel? He's uncomfortable. So he goes to Instagram stories to abuse, I don't know, Palestinians. I don't know, man. People who support Palestine. So yeah, maybe he stopped doing that. I don't know. Let, let's just check on him. Like this is the last Instagram stories, right? So just wondering, Lou, what is Ethan Klein up to? He's still on the same shit, bro. He's still on this shit. He's still making Instagram stories, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know, it's like that movie, right? Long Legs, where Nicolas Cage was like singing, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Right? And then the, 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 the narrative of the documentary goes, and he kept on singing for 20 more minutes. <laughs> it's like this guy's still, he's still on this shit, bro. He's still on the, the, he's still on the Insta story ish, bro. All right. This is what Astra Presidi says. Poor American white man. White man. This genocide on Palestinians is really hard on him. This is what, this is, this is like a few days ago. Okay. This things have definitely peaked, but let's go to the beginning. So this is what <laughs> Ethan Klein on the decline said. I know you guys don't like me talking about Hassan and while I appreciate that there's a lot of crossover and I'm grateful to those of you that are able to worship both, it's impossible for me to ignore that the majority of these people are coming from what? His community. It's something he and his audience refuse to reckon with. Hassan's whitewashing of that Houthi kid. By the way, okay, he's talking about like the Yemeni kid that Hassan interviewed, right? He's not Houthi. Like, are you dumb, bro? He's not Houthi. If you think he's Houthi, prove it. There's no proof. Because he's not Houthi. He's a 19-year-old kid. He's a 19-year-old kid who's pretty much a survivor of genocide. I mean, his country was genocided by Israel. Do you love Israel's best friend, Saudi? Okay. And now he, he wants... I don't know. And now Israel is doing a genocide on Palestine. So this 19 year old kid who's not Houthi, by the way, he never said he was Houthi. He was just a Yemeni. He was just a Yemeni. He's trying to do something about it. Right. And this guy's got a problem with it. This is this is his only gripe with Hassan because he can't find nothing else. He can't find nothing else. And this one gripe that he has with Hassan Piker it's not even factual. Like he got the basic facts wrong. The kid is not Houthi. When has he ever said that he was Houthi, you dumb fuck? Look at this guy, bro. If you want to hate on someone, number one, hate on that someone. Stop, stop, stop bitching about his community, bro. Like, are you dumb, bro? Like, imagine Kendrick having a beef with Drake. And then instead of Drake dissing Kendrick he disses Kendrick's fans bro like how does that even make sense it's dumb as hell if you have a problem with Hassan go at the guy bro like why are you so thirsty bro I understand Hassan is a good looking guy but this is you know this is bro this is amazing this is critical levels of thirst bro all right so and then he did a video he did a whole ass video addressing Hassan and his community okay this is what Mr. Lama said. Dude has become so unhinged since leftovers died. I'm wondering, bro, like, why is he so thirsty for Hassan, bro? Like, is he like, we, we joke about Ethan on the decline, but he's, but we were joking because, I mean, man's got like millions of followers, right? But what's happening? Is he not, is he like the, the viewership has declined? So he has to create some dumbass drama where he mistakes a Yemeni for a Houthi. That's some racist shit, by the way. And he has to thirst over this Turkish man endlessly. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, what's happening? Is he not having viewers? I could see 41K people watching his live. 
<laughs> I mean, so what's the problem here, right? But apparently, his his community. So he had a problem with Hassan's community, but his community had a problem with him. Make it make sense. After he did the live talking ish about a Turkish man, his community itself did not like that. This is some of the things his community said. Someone in the crew needs to have an intervention with Ethan. He is stuck in, you know how this is part of his community. They have the, the emotes or whatever you call these, right? These are members. These are, they pay to watch the channel, bro. They pay the channel money. These are his actual fans. He is stuck in a self-confirming feedback loop. Jason says, please speak with Sam Cedar. He is a happy medium between Ethan and Hassan. And I think it would benefit Ethan greatly. Bro, this guy is a Zayo. If he's going to speak with Sam Cedar, he going to get cooked. Not going to lie. Sam Cedar is going to cook him with the calmness of a Jedi Grandmaster, bro. Not going to lie. Ethan's POV seems to kind of ignore the many Orthodox Jews. Okay, so Ethan has the thing, this thing where he did the, the typical Zayo NPC shit that Destiny also does. And a lot of Zayo NPCs do where everything is anti-Semit, anti-Semit, anti-Semit. I can't pronounce it. Okay. English is my second language. Anti-Semitic, anti-Semit, anti-Semites, anti-Semitic. Everything is anti-Semitic. Okay. Every single thing, like everything, bro. Like there's no distinction. <laughs> Even though a lot of Jewish people don't, everyone who does not like Israel, do you love Israel? It's anti-Semitic, however you pronounce it. Ethan's POV seems to kind of ignore the many Orthodox Jews who denounce Israel's existence as blasphemous. Albert Einstein did not like Israel, bro. Is Albert Einstein anti-Semitic? Like, are you dumb, bro? Of course you are, because if you disagree with Albert Einstein, do you think you're smarter than Einstein? The fuck out of here, bro. With peace and love, should us These are all members. Skip this one. This episode sucked. This was a really hard wash. Just sucks. His community did not like it. Yo, bro. Most of his community did not like it. And you know what happened? They disabled the comment section, bro. They disabled the comment section because his own community did not like it. Be that's beautiful. This guy comes, this guy's whole brand is talking shit about Hassan Nabi's Hassan Abi's community on his Instagram stories. And it turns out his own, com his own community's brand is talking shit about him. That's beautiful. Amazing. That's a loop. Now that's a loop right there. And this is the guy who said they only turn off the comments when they know they're wrong. And then he turned off his comments. Yo, amazing. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Bro, it's wild, bro. And then what happened? Well, people came with receipts, you know? Like this guy's talking shit about, an, he talks shit about a Yemeni 19-year-old, a victim of genocide, who is trying to fight, trying to fight Israel. Do you love Israel? Who are doing a genocide? He's doing something about it. Meanwhile, he's married to a member of the IOF or someone who used to, you know, bang for the IOF. Like, make it make sense. This is comedy, bro. People are saying Israel does that on the daily, the idea. I don't, does that on the that's daily. not what I'm talking about. See, that's what you're doing. You're excuse, you're, you're excusing people being burned alive and kids being murdered. You're saying Israeli, Israel does that on the daily. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm not denying that. Yeah. I'm not denying okay. that. So are you, in, that. so are Israel you in favor <laughs> of an Iraqi, uh, uh, terror? Yo, you can't make this up, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it says here, Ethan Klein denied the fact that Israelis rape Palestinians. All right. Now we have videos caught in 4K. Remember the whole ass hour long debate he had with Hassan, right? Bro, he denied the fact that Israel, do you love Israel, rape Palestinians. We have the footage in 4K, bro. And they are literally pro rape riots in Israel. Do you love Israel? Pro rape riots. There are people, we covered this in this channel a few months ago. There are people, pro rape activists in Israel. Do you love Israel? Is that what's anti Semitic, bro? What does, what does it even mean? Like, now that's anti Semitic because these people are making Semites look bad and they're killing Semites, the Palestinians, right? If you want to talk about anti Semites, it's your own people. 
<laughs> bro. Yeah, this is the guy, bro. I, I don't remember his name. Like, apparently, Hassanabi in the interview asked if this guy was a part of any of the, the group, the Houthis or whatever, whatever. He's, he he never said he was a member of any groups. He's just a 19-year-old kid, bro. Ethan Klein went occupation soldier. Please marry me. Yo, make it make sense. Okay, the kid, like, yo, this guy just, I don't know, man. He, he's a brain fart, bro. And this is a majority report um, kind of defending Hassan, I guess. Bull Prog says, FYI, Hassan has been doing worse than Apologia for groups like Hezbollah and Houthis in his reaction to Zionism. I, I mean, I don't know what he said, but I really don't care. To be honest, I find the, the like, safe, safe, cozy, rich white people in America picking apart the ideology of resistance groups. Yep. Like, I, there's nothing to me that makes me want to, like, scream more. It's the height yep. of privilege, and it's just such Western chauvinism. So I support Hassan 100%. I think it's great that he had that Houthi kid Absolutely. on back in the day. And uh, we should be understanding more why Houthis, Hezbollah, all of these folks are resisting. Yes, and, I and, and, and And honestly, I'm like, and, and I, that's what Klein is like, the, what he was saying there too, uh, Ezra Klein, like th this just like the <laughs> characterization of Palestinians or Arabs as just savages is disgusting. And it's widespread and shared on the democratic. Yeah, at, at, at this moment in time, Ethan Klein is just being a racist, right? Like he's, he's also coming for Frogan. We had, we had another video, right? Talking about Frogan, right? He, he he he's still on that he's still bullying Frogan, bro. Yeah, so so this guy's talking about Hassanabi's community, right? His community is abusing a Middle Eastern woman. You're a nasty bee, have fun living in a tent, unacute for a sand person. This is why his community is saying, Don't your hero lived in a dirty cave. This is why his community is saying about a, a Middle Eastern woman. A Middle Eastern woman who who's whose whole ass home region has been destabilized and completely destroyed by Americans and Israel. Do you love Israel? This is who he's coming for. This is he, who he keeps bullying for months, bro. Like Ethan Klein is, he has an obsession with Frogan. I don't get it. Is it some kind of sexual tension? I don't get it. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Like he's obsessed with Frogan, bro. He's obsessed with this Middle Eastern lady. I don't know, bro. And speaking of anti-Semitism, he, he, Ethan Klein likes to accuse people of anti-Semitism, anti-Semitic, anti-Semites. Let's see what he has to say about Jewish people. Plot twist. Plot twist. I mean, I would, t I could take these guys a little bit more seriously if it wasn't for this curly ass shit, like these, these double curls. That, yeah, that is disgusting. It's just goofy. But also, come You're on, wearing a full suit in the summer. You know what? Whatever, dude. Whatever they want to do is fine. But, the but thing they stink that the whole place for everyone. Stink soup. Holy F. Unholy schmole. I'm not even going to watch the full thing. You can, you can go to Psychedelic Socialist Twitter. Unholy schmole. He really said that about Jewish people, bro. He said that. And this is the guy that wants to accuse other people of being anti-Semitic. Do you even know what it means? Do you even know what it means? He thinks he's better than those Jewish people with the curls, bro. Holy F. Unholy schmole. I'm speechless. I'm speechless, bro. All right, so we're going to end it with this video. I haven't seen this video. I like to do reactions to things I haven't seen, bro. So who wanted this type in? Ethan Klein has broken his brain. It's genuinely sad. Especially when you consider the ripple effect his rants will have on those around him. I have no doubt that there has been an increase in anti-Semitism. But it's not coming from Hassan. Because Hassan Nabi is not the one talking ish about actual Jewish people with curls, bro. He's talking ish about... Hassan is not saying Jewish people are smelly. It's... Bro, it's, it's Ethan Klein saying it. We have the video. It's not even... It's not in 4K. It's in 720p. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. Israel's doing this, yes. The, the Jews. Well, Israel's doing it. Not the Jews well, doing Jewish it. Jewish people, right? No, it's not. It's They're not. This, so one thing you have to understand is, is that like... a difference. In like me. Oh, this is from the video where he explains... Yeah. There's a major asking. difference. To Nick. I think it's Nick is his name. It's like what Saudi Arabia does is not about Islam. You know, it's not like ISIS is doing what they're doing for Islam. You know what I mean? He's trying to explain why this is not about Jewish people. Okay. We're not hating on Jewish people. We're hating on Zios. Okay. 
Israel's doing this. Yes. The, the Jews. Well, Israel's doing it. Not the Jews. Well, doing Jewish it. people, right? No, it's not. It's They're not. This, so one thing you have to understand is, is that like a difference. There is me, a I'm major difference because like what Saudi Arabia does is not about Islam. You know, it's not like ISIS is doing what they're doing for Islam. Yeah, I hate Saudi, bro. I keep telling people to boycott Saudi and it's not, a, I'm a Muslim. Am I Islamophobic? People never say that when I talk shit about Saudi. Like they never accuse me of anti-Islamism, -Isla anti <laughs> anti-Islamic, thick, anti-Islamic. They don't accuse me of that. Because I'm not talking about Muslims. I'm talking about Saudi. So when we talk shit about Israel, do you love Israel? We're talking shit about Israel. Do you love Israel? We're talking shit about Zios. You know what I mean? I'm okay. How is this so hard to understand? Like, are you dumb, bro? How is this is a simple concept? Simple as pimple. Malaysians will understand the reference. Simple as pimple, man. We don't hate Jewish people. We hate Zios. We hate Israel. They're, they're occupiers, colonizers, genociders. How is this so hard to understand? Like, are you dumb, bro? Holy F. Unholy schmole. Okay. Those guys. But either of those guys. You know what I mean? It's, but isn't Zionism... I'm so confused. It's understandable that you're confused in this circumstance because, like... So Israel's not Jewish. the Nazis who... Hate Israel or love Israel doesn't matter. Uh, that that believe that Israel must exist or believe that Israel must go away and that Jews control the media or whatever. Like both the Nazis and, and also Israel and Kanye and also Israel itself claims that Israel is doing this for Judaism and that if you criticize Israel like I'm doing right now, I'm an anti-Semitic person. So because of that reason, a lot of people like yourself get confused. You're like, well, so the Jews are doing this? No, these people are not doing this for Judaism. Um, yeah, obviously, yes, the, the military is is by and large Jewish. There's some Druze people, there's some Arabs, whatever. But like, it doesn't, it, they're not doing this for Judaism. So, they're, But they're using it as a veil? They're using that as a defense mechanism. They're using that as a defense Got mechanism it. in the West the, to propagandize their position to be like, no, 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 you don't understand. We're doing this for Judaism. All Jews care about this. They only care about this. Yeah. All right. We ended it on a positive note. This whole video is actually pretty good. Like He, he doesn't know nothing about the whole thing. So Hassan is just explaining to him. Yo, Ethan Klein is trending, bro. Can you see this? He's trending. Yeah. Ow. Ethan Klein is posting Drew Pavlo now. Drew Pavlo is paid to post propaganda by far right millionaire. Da, da, da. Yeah, he's, he's still at it, bro. 7.5 M views. Sadly, no one cares about anti-Semitism. Well, you want to talk about anti-Semitism? How about this? Whatever, okay? The thing that puts them, you know... How about this? Catch me outside. How about that? You want to talk about anti-Semitism? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Like, bro, maybe we need to get into this. I forgot about this, bro. Yo, okay, okay. We, we're not ending the video yet. So, so a bunch of... Arabs, a bunch of Arabs did like a show. I think it's a comedy show, okay? Kind of like they kind of rate people based on how a Arab coded they are or Arab they are. It's just, and this kind of triggered, um, again, Ethan Klein does not have a brain, right? So it triggered him because love Sabra. When they're talking about Sabra, they're talking about hummus, however you pronounce it. Hummus, the, the food, right? The delicacy. I, I like hummus, by the way. I love it, bro. And the, the Sabra is, is sort of like a Middle Eastern reference for shitty hummus, a brand of hummus, which is pants, which is, okay, they don't like it. And then this guy, this guy, Ethan Klein, is always triggered by, I don't know what it, by unfactual things. Like he got triggered by the Yemeni kid because he's a Houthi, even though he's not a Houthi. And then he gets triggered by the word Sabra, thinking it's a slur for Jewish people when it's about a brand of hummus. Hummus, however you pronounce it. Like, Ethan, like, what was wrong with this guy, bro? Like, like, how dumb does this guy get, bro? How dumb can a human being get? So he got triggered by that, bro. How dumb? Yeah, this, this is it, bro. They were talking about Sabra. Frogan is being targeted by Ethan Klein because she's a prominent voice for the pain and suffering of Palestinians. He has sent his army of hate mongers to harass. Maybe that's why he's, he keeps trying to get his community to harass Frogan and Hassan. Because Frogan and Hassan are like leading voices in the, the YouTubing community, bro. Or like the Twitch. My bad, Twitch. 
Yo, this is wild, bro. Bro, she's getting she's getting abused, bro, by the Ethan clan community. Oh, this is the guy, Rashid Al Haddad, who uh I'm sorry my my whole video is all over the place. Like cause this guy is so dumb that I can't focus. The ADHD has taken over me. I can't even focus on one storyline, bro. Fuck a storyline. This guy is so dumb, he does not deserve a storyline from me. Okay? This is the kid, Rashid Al Haddad, who had to make a video that he is not anti Semitic. He is against Zayos. Okay? Bro, don't 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 get into deep with the Ethan Klein shit. It doesn't make sense. Okay? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's not get into deep. You know, if if you go into the Ethan Klein rabbit hole, you might not make it back. You'll be stuck in a sea of dumbness, bro. In a sea of stupidity. Okay? So let's not get into deep. We'll end this here. I'm pretty sure he's going to do some other shit and we're going to have to cover it. I'm pretty sure he's going to do some other dumb shit. Maybe he's going to upstage his dumbness today, tomorrow. Who knows? Okay? But for now, we're not going to get we're not going to get into deep. Okay? Thanks for watching. That's all for now. Peace.